Welding documentations. Weld geometry dictionary. Present by. Introduction to Welding Geometry Dictionary Our coursework is about Welding Geometry Dictionary. He Dictionary is a definition of a book giving information on particular subjects or a particular class of words, names, or facts. Geometry is a definition of the properties, measurement, and relationships of points, lines, angles, and figures. Welding is a definition to unite or fuse a piece of metal with heat or other appliances. Our welding geometry dictionary mainly focuses on the related facts and information about weld terminology. Considerations when choosing joint geometry and weld types. Accessibility to the joint for welding. Type of welding process being used. Suitability to the structural design. Cost of welding. Objective. Make a proper document about the related welding geometry dictionary. Gather information related to welding geometry. Understand the uses of weld geometry and its terms. What do consider when choosing weld geometry and weld types for? Identified the type of weld in welding. The document. Welding is a fabrication or sculptural process that joins materials, usually metals, or thermoplastics, by using high heat to melt the parts together and allowing them to cool causing fusion. There are four common types of welding procedures. Shielded metal arc welding. Gas metal arc welding, flux core arc welding, gas tungsten arc welding. Consideration when choosing weld geometry and weld types. Welding geometry, when properly applied to drawings and as importantly when correctly interpreted, offers a potentially convenient way of controlling the welding of a particular joint. That is why it is important to know what to consider when choosing weld geometry and weld types in documentation or welding works. The joint is the basic reference for the welding symbol, the reference line of the welding symbol, fig 3 to 2, is used to designate the type of weld to be made, its location, dimensions, extent, contour, and other supplementary information. Any welded joint indicated by a symbol will always have an arrow side and another side. Accordingly, the terms arrow side, another side, and both sides are used herein to locate the weld concerning the joint. Type of weld There are many different types of welds, which are best described by their shape when shown in the cross section. The most popular weld is the fillet and groove weld named after its cross-sectional shape. Other types of welds include flange welds, plug welds, slot welds, seam welds, surfacing welds, backing welds, and more. Groove welds According to the AWS, American Welding Society, a groove weld is a weld on a workpiece surface, between workpiece edges, between workpiece surfaces, or between workpiece edges and surfaces. The actual weld groove is a channel in the surface of the workpiece or an opening between two joint members providing space to contain weld metal. There are nine types of single grooves welds and seven types of double groove welds. All groove welds, other than square and flare groove welds, require metal to be removed from either one or both faces of the workpiece. Weld Groove Structured Groove welds are made of an arrow line, reference line, a tail, weld procedure specifications, and a groove weld symbol. Despite popular belief, 
Groove weld symbols can be much more complicated than fillet weld symbols are. Another thing to keep in mind is that groove welds can also be combined with fillet welds. The root opening of the weld is used to provide access for the welding electrode as well as improves the penetration of the weld on the work pieces. In instances where the weld gap is insufficient to penetrate the work piece, they are angled. One will also only find a bevel in the work piece when it is angled. Fillet welds. Fillet welding refers to the process of joining two pieces of metal together when they are perpendicular or at an angle. These welds are commonly referred to as T-joints, which are two pieces of metal perpendicular to each other, or lap joints, which are two pieces of metal that overlap and are welded at the edges. There are five pieces to each fillet weld known as the root, toe, face, leg, and throat. The root of the weld is the part of deepest penetration which is the opposite angle of the hypotenuse. The toes of the weld are essentially the edges of the points of the hypotenuse. The face of the weld is the outer visual or hypotenuse that you see when looking at a fillet weld. The legs are the opposite and adjacent sides to the triangular fillet weld. The leg length is usually designated as the size of the weld. The throat of the weld is the distance from the center of the face to the root of the weld. Typically the depth of the throat should be at least as thick as the thickness of metal you are welding. Slot and plug welds. Circular weld made through one other material or member of a lap or T-joint joining that one member with the other. This type of weld may or may not through a hole in the first material slash member. These welds are used to join the member with holes to the surface of another member exposed through the hole. The hole may or may not be completely filled with weld metal. These types of welds are often used to I dot join face hardened plates from the backer soft side. 2. Dot install liner metals inside tanks. 3. Dot fill up holes in a plate. Stud weld. Stud welding is a process by which a metal stud is joined to a metal workpiece by heating both parts with an arc. The arc stud welding method provides highly reliable fastening for a wide variety of applications. Dot ability. Arc stud welding permits strong, one-sided welds on base metals with thicknesses starting at 0.048, 1.2 mm. It produces welds in as little as 0.06 seconds. Arc stud welding utilizes a DC power supply to create the arc, a stud welding tool, metal fasteners, and in some cases, ferrules. There are three common techniques of arc stud welding. The Benefits of Stud Welding Stud welding has many advantages over other joining processes. 1. It is fast. Welding a 3-4 fastener will take less than 1 second. 2. It is single-sided. This means that access to the other side of the workpiece is not required. 3. It is secure. Unlike the peripheral weld that would be used to weld a bolt in place, a stud weld is a full cross-sectional weld. This means the full face of the fastener is welded in place providing a strong, worry-free weld. 4. It is cosmetically superior. As a single-sided fastener, there are no indicators that a fastener is attached. 5. It is welded and will not work free like a press-in fastener. 6. Requires no special skills and little training to install. Spot and Projection Welding In spot welding the pieces to be joined are clamped between two electrodes under force, and an electrical current is sent through them force is applied before during and after the application of current to prevent arcing at the workpiece.
fusion of surfaces is achieved at the location of electrodes. Advantages of spot welding Spot welding is quick and easy. No need to use any fluxes or filler metal. Multiple sheets join together at the same time. No dangerous open flame. Saves production cots. Back and backing welds. Backing is defined as material placed at the root of a weld joint to support molten weld metal. Its function is to facilitate complete joint penetration. Permanent backing is usually made from a base metal similar to that being welded and, as the name implies, becomes a permanent part of the joint because it is fused to the root of the weld and is not easy to remove. Temporary backing may be made from copper or a ceramic substance that does not become fused to the root and is easily removed when welding is finished. This type of backing is also referred to as removable backing. Welding the second side of a double-sided butt joint is regarded as welding a joint with backing because the first weld run put in from the second side is supported by weld metal from the first side. Surfacing welds Surfacing is a welding process used to apply a hard, wear resistant layer of metal to surfaces or edges of worn out parts. It is one of the most economical methods of conserving and extending the life of machines, tools, and construction equipment. As you can see in the figure below, a surfacing weld is composed of one or more stringer or weave beads. Surfacing, sometimes known as hard facing or wear facing, is often used to build up worn shafts, gears, or cutting edges. Applications of surfacing welds Surfacing welds are usually used to build up worn up metal usually when the tools, or gear has been used for a long time and has worn down. Surfacing welds is used to repair the worn down metal, usually increasing the metal thickness. This helps prolong the usage of the tools to save the cost of replacing the whole worn down metal. Seam weld. There are mainly four types of electric resistance welding or seam weld. I dot resistance spot welding. Two dot resistance projection welding. Three dot resistance butt welding. Four dot resistance seam welding. Resistance seam welding is one among the most common welding processes used to join metal sheets with a continuous weld. When two similar or dissimilar materials are pressed together, there will be a slight gap between them due to surface irregularities. The amount of heat generated at the seams will depend on the magnitude of the current flowing through it. Seam Weld Advantages of Seam Welding Comparatively Low Cost Resistance Spot Welding RSW, method doesn't need highly skilled worker. Distortion or warping of parts is eliminated though it leaves some depressions or indentation. The joint made is highly uniform. Automatic or semi-automatic operation both can be done. There is no need for edge preparation. Welding can be done in quick succession. It just needs a few seconds to make the joint. Disadvantages of seam weld The equipment cost is high so it can has an effect on the initial cost. Skilled welders or technicians are needed for the maintenance and controlling. Some metals need special surface preparation for making the RSW a success. The thick jobs are not easy to weld. The most common types and used flanges in AWS standards are welding neck, slip-on, socket weld, lap joint, threaded and blind flanges. Below you will find the short description and definition of each type, complete with detailed images. Types of weld used in piping and boiler 
This image is an example for process of making a boiler. Piping and boiler uses a shell or drums made out of steel plates. It is then rolled to a correct curvature. The thickness and size of the pipe or boiler depends on the type of pressure. This is five basic types of sheet joints for boiler. Butt joint. Corner joint. T joint. Lap joint. Edge joint. Before joining, the edges are cut into single or double groove. Work safety. Common welding safety. Exposure to fumes and gases. Physical hazards. Electrical shock. Fire and explosion. Standard acceptance for groove and fillet welds. Acceptance criteria for groove welds. 1. No visual defect. 2. Pass radiographic and non-destructive test. 3. No mechanical defect. Acceptance criteria for fillet welds. 1. No visual defect. 2. The size of weld must be the same thickness the metal words. 3. No mechanical defect. Conclusion I to be able to make a proper documentation about the related welding geometry dictionary. Two able to gather the necessary information related to welding geometry. Three be able to identify the consideration when choosing weld geometry and weld types. Four be able to identify the type of weld in welding. V to be able to understand the uses of weld geometry and its terms.